Public Parking Authority to order. Please be advised that the notice requirements of the Open Public Meetings Act have been complied with and satisfied in that the annual notice which gave sufficient notice of the time, place, and conduct of all public meetings of the New Brunswick Parking Authority has been filed with the City Clerk, has been placed on an appropriate, uh, appropriate bulletin board in the lobby of City Hall, New Brunswick, New Jersey, and has been transmitted to the official newspaper for the City of New Brunswick, namely the Home News and Tribune as per the annual notice provided in a resolution adopted by this governing body on December 29, 1975. Uh, we had uh, minutes from the July uh, regular board meeting. Any uh, changes any member of the board wishes to make? If not, can I get a motion? Can I get a second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, Mitch. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, the Performing Arts Garage, we did receive a TCO, and we're looking at the grand opening of the garage to coincide with the grand opening of the theater, which is next Wednesday, a week from today, at 6 p.m. So we'll probably open the garage about 5 p.m. to allow uh, attendees of the theater to uh, be the first to park in there, and then uh, keep it open from that point on. So, exciting day. Uh, the 2019 restoration maintenance project is continuing. Right now, we're about 70% complete with all the garages that were being worked on, and we, look, you know, we expect them to be completed within the next month. Um, we've got a red spear gun. They had a soft opening on August 15th. They've been open since. Uh, they tell me, I spoke to them yesterday, they tell me they've been very pleased with the reception and the business they've received and they're looking forward to the school year to begin to get more traffic in the doors. But uh, speaking to others that have visited the restaurant, they're you know, very happy with it. And they like the food and you know, the service and you know, hopefully it'll be successful. Uh, I had mentioned a few months ago that we were going to convert the city hall uh, lot, the multi-space meter right now. Well, it was pay by space, so, so you put a space number in. So we, we converted that over to pay by license plate number. So uh, that was done yesterday. So now when you pay the machine, you put your license plate number in. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, it helps when the weather is, uh, you know, it's snowy out and the numbers are covered. At least, you know, hopefully your license plate's not covered. Okay. All right. Um, all right, Kirkpatrick Street, after analyzing the demand for on-street parking spaces in that area, uh, determined that uh, it's best if we needed those spaces along, uh, this is the area that was uh, along where the supermarket was. Uh, on Kirkpatrick, uh, so we're going to we're going to convert that to metered spaces, uh, basically following the same uh, parking uh, times as the other other meters in the downtown area, which is 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday, and progressive rate, everything stays the same. But the Wells Fargo lot across the street, which was pr primarily set up for the supermarket for one hour free parking. We're looking to convert that. We're going to, I, I want to experiment and make that a, uh, a talk mobile payment only lot. See uh, the reception we get for that. I think it's a good opportunity to try to see if, uh, you know, because a lot of people do use the park mobile app, so, you know, it's, it's available to everyone. So it'd be interesting to see uh, the reception we get over there. Um, and then we will be removing some meters, yes. I said we're moving. On, on George Street, across from the Rutgers Public Safety Building, which is adjacent to the Lord Sterling School, uh, we're going to make that a special parking permit for the teachers in, in the area. So right now they've been uh, basically encroaching in the residential areas with their permits. So this will open up more spaces for residents. Uh, that special permit district will be in effect uh, 8 to 4 p.m. on Monday through Friday. And then other hours will be parking for whoever needs it at no charge. Uh, again, all, uh, the Kirkpatrick and the George Street needs to be approved by city council because they're on street meters. Um, so I believe it's going to be on first reading next Wednesday, September. Yeah, next Wednesday, okay. September 4th. Yeah. That's all I got. Okay. Thanks. Uh, Brian? So, 
Uh, July year year to date uh, revenue is 19.6 million, 3.5 percent more than the budget. With the expense of 12.2 million, 1.9 million less than the budget. Uh, the full financial report was emailed to the board members. Oh. We started out on the budget for 2020. Uh, hopefully by October we should have a budget for 2020. Okay. Good. Oh, you and you'll call. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Any legal issues tonight? Nothing to report today. Okay. Any public comment this evening? <clears throat> Good evening, members of the board. Charles Cranville, New Brunswick, New Brunswick today. I just want to start with a minor correction. The uh, city council meeting has actually been moved because of the uh, the uh, oh. you know, celebration of the new building. So it'll be September, Thursday, September 5th oh, okay. at uh, 6.30 p.m. And I haven't seen the agenda yet, but I trust those ordinances will be on there. Um, I do want to ask a question about the new deck. Um, you know, as you know, I've been concerned about the uh, uh, number of people who you know, jumped off of the parking decks we do have, and notwithstanding the issues with the existing decks, uh, can you tell me what, if anything, is going to be uh, part of this new deck to prevent that type of thing from happening? Uh, nothing. Nothing other than what I mentioned before, we, we meet the building code, 42 inch high uh, walls. That's basically it. So that the railings you're saying are 42 inches yeah. from the oh, right. Okay. Was there any any thought to having you know, more fence, more no. more? no. Okay. Well, I, I reiterate my concerns. There's been at least seven deaths in recent years from parking authority facilities alone, and uh, I I think that you know, certainly it's one thing to, to deal with the old construction and, and make upgrades, but this is a brand new deck. I don't see why more wasn't done. Uh, I do want to ask about the super fresh space. Is there any update on tenants or, or what's going to go there? No, we've just we've had interest. Nothing's really changed. We've had interest. We're working with some uh, organizations, uh, which I can't mention for obvious reasons, um, and uh, you know, see if we can work something out over there. Okay. Um, I will. Something I've brought up before, and it's, it's, uh, nothing happened there. I, I think it might make things safer and make the site a little bit more attractive if there was a crosswalk at Kirkpatrick and 27. There's no legal place to cross that street there and if you're trying to get people to come in and out of a store, uh, that would be uh, an obvious thing. I know the Sky Bridge has been Yeah, we've, we've, years had, we've in the had discussions about crosswalk there. Great. And there's a lot, you know, crosswalks are kind of tricky things. Sometimes the most obvious places aren't the places that the uh, the code, I forget the, the initials of that code that governs those kind of things. I understand, and I know it's state jurisdiction so, as well to deal with. You, uh, yeah. But I um, wanted to ask about the August debt payment. I understand the parking authority has about $390 million uh, owed. Can you tell me, did that August payment happen, and does that cut into that $390 million at all? It, it will, but I'll only know in September. The statement comes only in September. Okay. So it's, pay, it's paid by it's paid by the trustee. trustee. It doesn't come directly straight from us. So it pays by the trustee. The trustee then sends a statement, you know, like a bank statement, and that would reflect the transaction. But so you expect it to, to cut into that three hundred ninety million? Yeah, it'll come down by five point eight million. Okay, thank you. Um, any update on the Barron site and the remediation work going on there? I have nothing. No, not no, that I'm aware. I have nothing. Okay, and uh, I guess just what, had a few comments on the uh, executive director's report regarding the special permit district. I just want to make sure that's going to be only on school days, right? Yes. Okay. And uh, I wanted to ask about the, the Kirkpatrick Street lot. Um, what, what's the reason for making it only Park Mobile? I remember when well, Park Mobile was rolled out, there was some concerns that maybe not everybody has a, you know, the app or, you know, not tech savvy enough to use it, why would you, you take, well, take a lot and set it aside just for I'll, 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 you know, um, the reason is, is that, as you brought up, you know, the Ferrin, the Ferrin lot, the Ferrin area is under, being redeveloped. So instead of uh, investing in equipment, you know, which is expensive, and meters, this would be little cost, if any, to really no cost other than little signage. So it's a way 
to you know uh, implement uh, a parking scenario, if you will, and without with little cost. And all you need is the park mobile app. And there's other parking available now adjacent to it. If you don't have the, the parking, I mean the meters be yeah. on Kirkpatrick Street, but right. the lot would be. It's right off the. It's yeah. the Wells Fargo, right, which right. is the entrance is right off of Kirkpatrick. And, and any idea when that might change over to? Uh, probably in a couple of weeks, as far as the lot goes. Obviously, for the city city based on city council. Okay, I think that's all I have today. Thank you for your time. Okay, okay we have two resolutions. Uh, the first, uh, can I get a motion to accept the payment resolution for August? And the second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Mitch? Uh, these are uh, the usual. Uh, Auction off surplus vehicles through US Gov bid. Uh, this is for a 2013 Jeep Patriot and a 2009 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Okay. So this is for approval to do so. Okay. We had a motion to authorize that. I'll make a motion. And a second. second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, old business, new business. Anybody have anything? I got I got nothing. Closed, but uh, not closed. No, no, I'm good. Okay, and can I get a motion to adjourn? And a second. second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you very much. Thank you.